Hello and welcome everyone on into a new video. My name is Nick. And I'm Shannon. And today we're going to be going through all of our Halloween pins. Some of them are going to be the ones that we're going to sell at our Halloween sale, but also we're going to show some of our personal collections. And Shay, why do we collect Halloween pins? Because I'm evil. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm born on Halloween, so I love Halloween. So if you guys are ready to check out all the pins we got, let's, let's go, go show you. Okay, so I keep my Halloween pins in this book because it's not always Halloween. They're over here. So these are all the ones that I've had for like years up here, and I just don't want to get rid of them. And I like to use them for photos too on my Instagram. But over here, this one, these are the fantasy pins that we made. I designed them. And then, oh, down here we have a couple of fake ones, but I don't really care because they, they match the vibe of Halloween. So I kept them. <laughs> and then over here we have a couple more. She's up here because I don't, I think I have a Mickey Mouse, so I need the Mickey. Oh, you're waiting to find the matching one? Yeah. And then down here, we actually got these ones at the Plato's Closet Disney sale, and I just really loved them. Oh, this one spins. Uh, there's a year on it, but I don't really care because it's cool. And then down here, a bunch of pumpkins. And this one's actually a Disney pin. I don't know what it's from, but it's super unique, so I like it. All right, so those were our personal pins, but this here, these are all the pins we're gonna have for our Halloween sale. So in this box throughout the year, we've been trying to kind of collect all our holiday pins and throw them in this box. So this one is our Halloween box. And you can see there's a lot of really fun stuff in there that we've been saving up. There's Halloween, there's Nightmare, and a couple Thanksgiving because there's not enough Thanksgiving pins to make their own box. So we just kind of include them with the Halloween stuff. But let's go ahead and go through everything that we have in this box. All right, so let's go ahead, start off with the first ones here. So this first set of Chippendale, we got the castle Chippendale in a matching pumpkin. This was a booster set that was in Disneyland Paris oh, last year. That's where that pumpkin's from. Next up, this is a three pin set of the uh, Hocus Pocus Witches, and it was a limited edition set of 1200. There was this one here of the Trick or Treat Cuties. Look at this one. So this was released in 2020 and there's a whole series of these really cute characters. Winnie the Pooh, I thought this was probably one of the best ones from the series that they released. Oh, I wanna keep this. Oh. And of course, look at this. So this is such a cool set. This is the Haunted Mansion stretching portrait with villains on there. Um, this one, I don't know what year these came out, but uh, they're retired OEs from 2014 and it is such a nice series. And they're such big pins too. Here. All right, next up, we have a handful. So these ones were the open edition pins that were they released last year. So there's Mickey, the matching Donald. Um, Minnie Mouse and Figaro. Ooh, uh, Happy Haunting with uh, uh, Rocket. Another Minnie. Sparkly. Goofy. Yes, and they're all sparkly on the back too. And Mickey again. And uh, this one, this is a little two pin set of pumpkins. And then this is the, ca the castle pumpkins. Almost looks, it's very similar to that Paris one, but slightly different. Uh, and then we still have some sealed boxes from last year's Hocus Pocus Mystery. So we have a bunch of those that we still need to open up. Uh, and then some Nightmare Pin. So this one is really cool. It looks like it's Shock and Sally. Shock must be very stinky or something. <laughs> Sally is covering her nose. Uh, but it's a nice little slider pin. It's kind of cool. She jumps up and down. Uh, next up is a little, uh, Shock, Lock, and Barrel in their candy corn tub that's skating away, and it looks like it was from a whole train series, which is pretty cool. And, of course, there's some more shock pins from the Lounge Fly Backpack, and more from the Nightmare Assume series. Sally, Santa Jack, and a barrel. I, I always get their names mixed up. Shock, Lock, and Barrel. 
some more assumes and okay so these next pins these are pretty unique so these ones these came out of tokyo disney and they are prize pins i believe you can win from playing carnival games um so this one's got maleficent and ursula then there is another another figaro figaro is very popular to be on uh halloween pins it looks like uh and then there is a matching chip and dale so some really cool stuff Nice to see them all the way from Tokyo. We don't get to see those a lot over here. Um, some more Sooms. And then there is the Wishable Jack Skellington. And this one's a really nice Olaf. So look, it is Olaf dressed up as a mummy. And he's got a mask that comes on and off. This was a Hollywood Studio Store LE 500. This goofy. This one looks familiar. That looks like the one of the park ones from here. But this one came out of Disneyland Paris. Oh yeah, here it is. Here's the other goofy we had. Same same thing, but this one is bigger. It doesn't have that purple sparkly background. Uh, next up, we got All Tricks, No Treats. Oogie Boogie Bash, the first fright in 2019. A not-so-scary Halloween party from all the way from 2002. Another Halloween 2001 Mickey. Halloween Party 2013. Oh, that's cool. We got Huey Dewey Louie dressed up as a uh, shock locker barrel. <laughs> uh, limited release. Uh, and then there is a Happy Halloween 2004 with Chip and he's throwing some candy. I wonder if there's a matching Dale one that we don't have. Where he's catching some candy or something. Uh, next up is Little Hades Halloween. An Iron Man pumpkin. So this is from a new mystery box that came out this year, actually. As well as a nice little 2020 Mickey and Minnie in front of a candy cauldron. Uh, and then a Happy Halloween for Sillier. It's nice when they make the Halloween pins without the year on them, like they did for this series. Or at least I don't think they did, unless they snuck it in there very tiny. I I've noticed they've been doing that a lot. But look at this passport pin. So this one... The Haunted Mansion, it opens up to Jack Skellington on the inside. This is his little passport date of birth, and I, that that must be the release date of Nightmare Before Christmas. So that's, that one's a really cool pin. There's a Mickey Happy Halloween 2020 spinner pin. Another Jack, what does this open up to? It is nice little silver of the cast on there. Uh, and chilling with all my villains. <laughs> this one's kind of nice, uh, Trick or Treat Chippendale, and it's got some nice little gems on there from 2008. That is an old E2. <laughs> Why is this in the Halloween stuff? I, I, it's scary. <laughs> and we got one of these scary old dolls. I had to throw that one in there. We got some Nightmare Fuel, the uh, the old creepy dolls, and we, they made a pin of them. So I thought that was kind of funny. I threw that in the box. What else did we have in here? There's a Not So Scary 2017. Another Not So Scary with Donald and one of the Scarecrows. Ooh, I don't see a year on that one. I was I always love the the non dated ones. Uh, a 2014 Not So Scaries. Uh, Happy Halloween 2005 with Maleficent and Diablo. And this one is really cool. So there is Minnie in front of the Haunted Mansion. This was from a, a mystery box in 2012. And pins from this series are, are pretty hard to come across. Uh, next up, this was not Disney, but we got a Horror Nights 2014. Uh, uh, another Goofy. And here's some Thanksgiving ones. There's uh, Stitch 2010, a Pilgrim Mickey and Minnie, uh, and then there is Zero with his little doghouse. <laughs> and of course, we've been saving some of the villain icons. So we got a whole handful of these guys. I'm gonna just set those over there. Uh, Chippendale from Thanksgiving 2020. Nice little rubber piece on the center. Uh, what is this? First day of autumn, 2009. And another stitch for fall 2014. Ah, uh, this one's from a Reveal Conceal set. Santa Jack. And look at this, a Jack Skellington boot. Kind of an interesting pen. Uh, and then of course we got some classic Mickey pumpkins. This one looks like a wreath actually. I wonder if that's uh, supposed to be like one of those wreaths that hang up in Magic Kingdom. 
And we have all three. There is shock lock and barrel of this uh, set. That looks like it was a lounge flight blind box. That's what it looks like these guys would be. Uh, some more of those Hocus Pocus. So these were some of the pins that came in this mystery box over here. And of course, there is the Jack and Oogie Pumpkin. That was a, a mystery box in 2020, I think it was. And there are quite a few and Thanksgiving. Bad Boy, Donald Duck. This one's a cool one. It's a little older. It's 2004. Like, look at all this Thanksgiving. There is a handful of Thanksgiving ones. Uh, this one, we got Thanksgiving 2001 California Adventure. A 2005 Mickey and Minnie. She's got a whole, the turkey's still alive on that pin, it looks like. Not for long. <laughs> uh, this one of Chippendale. A another uh, little 2001. And what is this? A nice little uh, 2010. So this pin, oh, I remember when this one came out last, was it last year or was it 2020? It was 2020. I thought it was pretty cool. Hands off my bounty and he's got his whole carbonated uh all his candy there he's got a lot looks like he went to the uh not so scary halloween party uh let's see i'm a real nightmare jack oh here's another one this so this is huey dewey and louie that came out of that same set as pooh bear where's pooh bear buried right here from this series you can see i i think they did a really nice job on that series there is a jack a lot tree in 2019 it 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 looks like Daisy, but it does not look like Daisy at all. If anyone knows who this character is, let me know, because I, I don't know who that is, actually. Mm. It's not Daisy, right? No, it doesn't look enough like Daisy. But this was a really cool Halloween uh, little pumpkin series. Oh, that's a different series, but... Um, oh, there's two of them. But I thought those were kind of cool, because it's the characters carved out in pumpkins. Just some nightmare pins, Jack and Oogie. Uh, from the same series as Flounder, we have the, the Baymax one as well. And these pins are pretty cool. So these are glow in the dark. They were originally mystery box pins in 2016. Uh, but there's uh, there's three of the Hitchhiking Ghosts. I don't know if we have any of the other ones, but the Stitch and Donald and some spider webs. Uh, this one's pretty cool. I always love the, the pins they do like this where they're uh, almost like little tech decks. And the wheels actually spin on this, so you can, uh, <laughs> can't play with it like a tech deck. Uh, a Mickey and Minnie. Oh, this Mickey is really cool. Look at this. So it's Mickey dressed up as Jack Skellington. And what's unique about this one is it is marked first release. And I don't know if I recall any other pins that are, like, marked like that, uh, as first release. I don't see that very often on pins. Uh, next up, this Tinkerbell is pretty cool. So this one is a limited edition one. So it's LE 500 and completer. Must have been a mystery mystery pin then. And this one's a pretty nice stitch. Stitch with his little pumpkin. And that's a waffle back from 2003. Uh, another uh, not so scary 2018. Uh, mini on the broomstick. A... We'll trade, we'll trade brother for candy. <laughs> <laughs> you laughing? That's what you would do, Shay. Uh, this one here of a Pinocchio pumpkin, a Peter pumpkin. Uh, this one got a sticker on it, but it's a uh, Halloween zoom, and it's actually from one of the international parks from Hong Kong. Another Huey, Dewey, and Louie. This one's kind of cool. Little Monsters Two Thousand. And this one, a Halloween spider dangle from 2012. Lots of Thanksgiving. You got a handful of Thanksgiving for me? Let's see, we got everyone in front of the TV. It looks like they got stuffed. Uh, a little, um, I don't know who this character is, but he was from a uh, advent calendar, it looks like. Uh, and a Thanksgiving Minnie Mouse and a Pilgrim hat. Uh, Lilo and Stitch, this one's pretty cool. Then with some jack-o'-lanterns. Jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, this one of a go ghost, uh, uh, a not-so-scary... Oh, this one's really cool looking, actually. Although I just noticed there's a loop on Daisy's head. I wonder if she was had some strings that hung down from her hat. I bet you that's why that's there. Uh, next up, we got some devil... Devil and Angel Donald, and then Devil Dale. 
I saw Halloween 2015, Stromboli, and Stromboli was a uh, LE750 chaser, chaser from this mystery box. Uh, Jack Skellington watch. The, the watches are so hard to find, that Hidden Mickey set. And some Jack Popsicles. There is the Dancing Skeletons Hidden Mickey. I thought that was a perfect little fit. And um, a Mickey Vampire. This one of, what does it say? Prepare to Scare. That was another one that came out in 2020. And just a couple more pins left. What do we have? Uh, this one of the um, Queen of Hearts. I am your ghost host, as well as, again, Figaro in his little jack-o'-lantern. And what was this? The, we, last one. the last one, the Haunted Mansion from, uh, that was their 50th anniversary. What does it say? I choose active retirement. <laughs> uh, but that was, that was a cool little pen. But that was our Halloween pens that we've been stocking up. All right, well, thanks for sticking around and checking out all our Halloween pens. As we mentioned earlier, uh, the, the ones that we showed on the table over here, those ones are going to go into our Halloween sale, which is going to be coming up here soon. So if you do want to join any of our sales, we're starting to do them on Whatnot. And if you want to join us on there, they've actually given us an upgraded referral link. So if you use the link in our description, they'll give you $15 just for signing up to go get something. But and it's free to join. Anyway, that's all for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave us a like down below. And subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. Have a magical day.